hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, so guess who was spotted eating at the Cheesecake Factory a few days ago? Kanye West, a.k.a. Ye, a.k.a. Yeezus, a.k.a. Yeezy, a.k.a. whatever. But nevertheless, uh, a picture was taken of Kanye West with his wife, Bianca, and they were dining at the Cheesecake Factory. And Kanye West didn't have no security with him whatsoever. It was just them two. And, you know, of course, people took pictures of him, you know, but they didn't go over there and bother him. But, you know, Kanye West didn't really say anything. But, you know, nevertheless, he was eating at the Cheesecake Factory. And Kanye West is worth anywhere from um, $500 million. Some people say that Kanye West is still a billionaire. Kanye West has said he's still a billionaire. So whatever his uh, net worth is, Kanye West has a shitload of money, but yet he's not too good to eat at the Cheesecake Factory where you just had this one Bigfoot woman who basically, you know, started to basically go online and basically make this video talking about, oh, who takes a woman to the Cheesecake Factory on a date? Well, Kanye West does. And as you can see, his wife isn't complaining, his wife. While you got these fake, superficial, broke chicks that got three kids by five different men who can't keep a man, sat up here and started this fake trend, posting tweets and doing Instagram, making a list of restaurants they're not going to go to. Here's Kanye West basically shutting y'all dumb asses down. This is why I keep telling you, you need to stop paying attention to these women that get on the Internet saying this stupid stuff because they continue to make fools of themselves. This is why you just don't take them seriously. All of a sudden, you had one Bigfoot woman that made this video and started filming herself talking about ladies. And then all of a sudden, she goes on some talk show talking about that she was standing up for women and women deserve to be treated like princess. First of all, no, you don't deserve to be treated like a princess. Um, these men are not your father. You're daddy's little princess. Not a man's. But this just goes to show you that a lot of these women on here are just full of shit. And, and particularly black women. And I have to say this because black women, for the most part, are the ones that's getting online, making these ridiculous and absurd and delusional videos talking about what they expect or what a man should do and what they ain't going to do and what you have to do to get on their good side. Well, my thing is, fuck your good side. At the end of the day, there was never nothing wrong with going to the Cheesecake Factory. You had women talking about, yeah, I ain't eating at no restaurant that's connected to the mall. But you just had your ass at the mall a couple of weeks ago shopping at Forever 21 or shopping at Foot Locker or, what, or whatever store they have in the mall. But all of a sudden, you don't want to eat at a restaurant that's connected to the mall. This is why you don't pay attention to some of these people on the Internet because they just be saying dumb stuff. And it's easy to eat their damn and debunk these fake notions and ideology that they be putting up. This was a woman that just wanted to bring attention to herself and she got a lot of attention because most people thought she was full of shit. She was getting cooked. Now, of course, you had a, you had some that tried to follow suit and tried to, you know, uh, start this trend like I say with these fake list of places they don't go on the first date my thing is this my wallet my choice now of course you're gonna have a man that's gonna simp and that's gonna yeah you, you know that's gonna sit up there inside with women like that because they feel like that can lead to them getting them some sympathy twat and a lot of times it doesn't they just run into a uh, a chick that walks all over him, treats him like dirt and takes their money and takes things from him and gives it to their other dude. So, like I said before, I'm just laughing at the fact that Kanye West can eat at the Cheesecake Factory. But then you have a whole bunch of mediocre looking uh, two chin. You know what I'm saying? 
women that shaped like a, a potato, a lopsided potato, and looking like Lizzo that's trying to come with all these demands, talking about where they supposed to go. And what made it so funny, you had this lady, Ashley, sitting up here talking about she was standing up for women. Like, what? Stand, stand, how are you standing up for women? And women, if you're courting a woman, you need to do this. And you need Listen, if you sitting up here worried about what restaurant we eating at, and you think I'm supposed to take you on a $500 dinner, that just shows a lot about you. That's just that's just real talk. A lot of y'all want to be treated like a wife or a fiance, but you've done nothing to earn wife or fiance status. At the end of the day, it's just fucking food. You eat it and you dookie it out. There's no difference on how you dookie food that come from the Cheesecake Factory versus these mom and pop restaurants that get a lot of their food supplies from places like cisco foods and costco's and places like that but they charge you 150 dollars for a steak that they bought probably by the by the pack for at the very least maybe 60 70 dollars so at the end of the day they the ones that's just winning but i just wanted to prove a point that this is why you pay a lot of these women online and that be on social media. This is why you ignore them because at the end of the day, they make fools of themselves. They don't know what the hell they be talking about. They just get on the internet, push the record button and just start saying stupid shit that you can easily debunk. Now here is Kanye West wife who happens to be non black. She's gladly eating at the cheesecake factory and ain't complaining. This is why I keep saying a lot of people are starting to see in our community who the real problem is and who've always been the problem while they sit up there and play victim and always finger pointing at everybody else when it pertains to what's going wrong in their life instead of looking at themselves. But like I say, these are the same women that'll be complaining in the next three years. They can't find a man and why won't anybody approach them? Well, because you got online saying stupid shit and a lot of people recognized you. It went viral and people like, I don't want to deal with you. I know who you are. They're not going to walk up to you and say they know who you are, but they know who you are. And they're not going to say a damn thing to you. So there you have it. It's really as simple as that. So there you go again. This whole notion about being, you know, too good to eat at the Cheesecake Factory has just been clearly debunked. And you just look and y'all just look stupid. So on behalf of town business and the people that understand, understand what's going on, just just stop it. Just just shut the hell up. Stop going online. Posting these ridiculous videos or ridiculous tweets and Instagram saying this stupid stuff. Because it's stupid and you're making a fool of yourself anyway. This your boy town beers. I'm out.